Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica, I make videos on career, education, and lifestyle. So today's video is actually going to be pretty exciting. I'm going to talk about all of the courses that I took in my master's in business analytics and kind of a short synopsis of what I learned in each class. So I'll be dividing this video into some of the business courses, the technical courses, and finally my track specific courses. Now for some more context, my program was 10 months long and I attended a private university in the south called Duke University and I was in the MQM business analytics program. And particularly in terms of my track, I was in the strategy track. I specifically chose Duke's program because I felt that it did a really great job in balancing both the business and technical parts of the curriculum so that students get a wide exposure to the business world and the technical world. The first course that I'll talk about is business fundamentals. This course is exactly what it sounds like. It gives students a view of accounting, marketing, strategy, finance, econ. We had modules on each subject and then we learned some of the basic things that we needed to know. I really enjoyed that course because I come from a psychology background and so I didn't really have much of a business context and I thought that the course did a really effective job in summarizing all of the basic elements of business that you need to know into one course. All right, so the second business course that I had. Oh, no. All right, the second and third course combined I'm going to talk about basically were the business communication one and business communication two courses. So these were essentially a way to get in front of people and speak. You often had to give presentations based on either market research or industry research that you've done and then put together a deck and then get in front of your classroom and then deliver a speech on what your findings were. It's how do you get in front of a group of people and deliver your points effectively. Part of it is how do you structure your slides in a way that really sticks with your audience. In turn, your classmates were your audience essentially and they would give you feedback. The fourth course that I want to mention is Critical thinking, communication, and collaboration. Essentially, this course was how do you ask good questions and communicate your ideas effectively, as well as how do you work in different groups of people where you have to collaborate, where people might have different expertise. So how do you work with people that you find in the business world, essentially? So this course was fairly easy for me because I come from a psychology background and a lot of the things that the course mentioned I'd already learned. For instance, the wisdom of the crowd. So if you were at a farm, there were 100 people and a pig and a specialist and you asked 100 people what the pig weighed and averaged that and you asked the specialist what the pig weighed and you compared the answers and you do that over and over again. Usually the crowd will win in most cases and that's because the average of a lot of people's answers is better than the answer of one specialist general. All right, the fifth business course that I took is Navigating Organizations. Now this was an interesting course because it was essentially talking about how you navigate through an organization long term, have power in the organization, maintain relationships. I really like this course. It essentially was a lot of debates. Uh, we had different cases and then we would debate between different parties. So for instance, there is a power plant and different people have different ideas of where they want to put the plant. Like, how do you argue your side of the case, basically? So we had different roles that we had to play and then so you had to essentially convince people to get onto your side. <laughs> I really liked the course. I thought it was a lot of fun and I got to use some of my psychology background. <laughs> we also read a lot of Harvard business uh, cases too and talked through them and analyzed them. So overall, a uh, pretty interesting. Okay, now let's move into the technical courses of the bunch. So the first course that I'll talk about is Applied Probability and Statistics. Now this course was actually in my first term and I didn't know R. The course was way more in depth of 
essentially the basics of statistics and probability. We had a really interesting professor. A lot of it was also, he was trying to teach us R, and so we would, in class, get out our laptops and start programming, we'd put up a data set. So it was kind of my first exposure to learning a programming language. We also ran some basic regressions in R and then did a few exercises where we interpreted them. Overall, good course and at least getting me situated to how to code and the professor had office hours too where I would sometimes go and try to learn more. All right, the second technical course that I'll talk about is data infrastructure which was essentially a SQL course. It talked about how to write basic statements to what window functions are, so just everything in between. I thought it was a very comprehensive course and it's one of the best courses that I took at Duke. Uh, extremely valuable, the professor was really amazing and uh, we got a pretty good in-depth understanding of SQL. The third technical course that I'll talk about is data science for business. We talked about both supervised and unsupervised machine learning techniques. So for instance, we learned regression, and clustering, text mining. We got a pretty good primer on different modeling techniques. Uh, we didn't do every, we didn't practice every modeling technique, but at least we got to have a conceptual understanding of what that technique is typically used for when it's applicable when it's not so uh, essentially giving you an understanding of when you use different modeling techniques to solve different problems so the fourth technical course I'll talk about is decision analytics and modeling so this course comprised of how to make decisions while considering a multitude of inputs and uncertainties so we looked at things like Monte Carlo simulations uh, and just various optimization techniques that we could use in real life and a lot of this course was actually Excel based to do some of the calculations. The fifth the technical course I'll talk about is data visualization. So this course was such essentially a Tableau course. Uh, the professor had his own company uh, where he use Tableau to help clients and so he brought in a lot of practical elements to the course as well and I really thought the course gave us an amazing background on why Tableau is so widely used and also we got to actually build dashboards throughout the entire course and we got some feedback on our visualizations and how we can improve so I really liked the course. It was a lot of group work. Our finals and tests were actually modeled based off of what the actual Tableau test was. So it really felt like we were getting a great gist of how to use Tableau and we got to practice it throughout the course. All right, so now I will move on to track courses. These courses are actually a mix of both business and technical, but I wanted to section them into track courses because not all students might have taken these courses. I was specifically in the strategy track, so I was interested in consulting and technical consulting using data and that's really what I do now so I'm glad I have that strategy background to rely upon. So these are the courses I had to take as part of being the strategy track. Alright, so one of the first strategy track courses I had to take was empirical economic analysis and this course was essentially helping us figure out when you can establish a causal relationship and when you can't. We also talked about regression discontinuity, problems with regressions in general and how we might fix them. We also talked about simultaneous systems and then we had some statistics here and there as well throughout the course. The professor, I thought, did a really great job. I think it was actually one of my favorite courses. It was definitely really hard. I thought this course was grounded in real life and some of the challenges that might occur and then how we can use statistics and models to solve those problems. All right, the second strategy track course I took is operational analysis. So this course essentially focuses on how we can improve an organization's capabilities in terms of their operations, right? So things like what are the bottleneck in an organization? What are what is what is the line flow? What is a batch? What is a project, etc. So overall, it's just essentially optimization 
course in how you can improve an organization's performance in, in, in various ways. So for instance, there could be a restaurant. How do you optimize how many tables you may need to have? Or how do you have lines in an airport to where you can get the most amount of people inside uh, through the security check as possible? How do you see people in an airport so that you can leave as quickly as possible? And actually, I found out that randomly seating people is the best way, so shout out to Southwest. I've been taking this course, I've realized I don't wanna do anything like this, and that's okay. The professor was amazing, and the course was really interesting, but I just, that just was not my cup of tea in general, in terms of my interests. All right, the fourth strategy track course I had to take is strategic management. So this was actually a business heavy course and it talked about the ways in which that you can understand an organization and analyze an organization uh, to improve its performance. And so we did a lot of different types of analysis. Like we did a SWOT analysis, like strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We also did first mover analysis, value curve analysis, uh, key success analysis, value added analysis. Essentially this course gives you really good frameworks in how to understand a business. All right, the last strategy course that I took is people analytics and that's kind of what I do now. It's essentially a course that focused on understanding turnover, tension, performance, and it really gave a more conceptual understanding of different elements of people analytics and give me a good framework of thought basically on how to understand what people analytics is and what it's trying to do within an organization. That's it for today's video. I know I talked about a lot of different courses that I took and I hope you got to see the value that I got out of these classes or at least understand the types of courses that you might find in your own program. I talked about business courses, I talked about technical courses and my specific track courses and you might find a very similar gist of courses and some of the programs that you're considering. So specifically wanted a program that combined both the business and technical elements and as you can see by the courses that I mentioned, the program that I went to did a really great job in capturing that. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something and if you did, please take a second to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you like this video. That's it for now, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.